Hey girl, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faye and for today's video I'm bringing you guys a little get ready with me vlog. So I posted a poll on my Instagram stories and also on my like YouTube community page asking you guys what foundations y'all wanted to see me review here on my channel and the majority of you guys voted for the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin um, Balm this one right here so I actually am going out today with my sister and her boyfriend and my husband obviously we're going to get dinner and um, go bowling so I figured today would be a good day since I was already getting ready to show you guys how I use this on my oily skin and how I make it last literally for hours I'm talking seven eight plus hours on my face with no touch-ups like barely any touch-ups um i am going to be wearing this today so yeah i just figured i would turn the camera on while i'm getting ready let you guys see my process how i apply it to the skin and also give you guys a wear test so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the vibe of the channel be sure to click subscribe down below and let's go ahead and get ready all right so per usual first things first is primer i'm going to start off with this one from milk makeup I've been loving this primer. This is the Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. And I just take probably like this much on my finger and I just apply it all over my face. It soaks into the skin really quickly and it's just gonna help to kind of give a light blur to the skin, but more so than anything, it's going to kind of smooth everything out and blur your pores. Now, I'm extra. If you're not new to my channel, you guys already know, I like to do a lot of blurring on the skin because I do have large pores. So I'm gonna go in with another blurring primer. This one is from Cali Ray. Looks like this. And this one is the So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. I've shown you guys this primer a few times in um, my most recent videos. And I keep showing it to you because I am really enjoying it. So I like to bring it up underneath my eyes because I do have fine lines there. And this one I'm really focusing mostly just on my pores and then on my T-zone. And then last but not least, I'm going in with my Milk Hydro Grip. You guys already know, love this primer. You honestly don't need all of these primers. I just like to mix and match different primers together to um, address different things with my skin. So the first one obviously was for mattifying, the second one was specifically for blurring, and this one I put on the very top because it's going to grip whatever I put on next. So I pretty much do this same combination every time I do my skincare routine or like my skin, my base routine. I always have a mattifying, a blurring, and then some type of gripping primer. Again, like I said, you guys can do what works best for you but this is what I found works for me, and so that's what I do. Okay, so this next step is completely optional. I've applied the blurring balm both doing this step and not doing this step, and it works just as well both ways. It's kind of just an extra step that you can do specifically if you're oily. If you're normal to dry, I would recommend skipping over this, but if you're oily and you just kind of want a little extra something to help your skin or help your makeup last just a little extra, like a little, just a little bit longer, then this is a step that you can do. I do this step both with the blurring balm and also with really any other foundation that I know I'm gonna need to last for seven plus hours, and that is to set my primers down with a loose powder. So I'm gonna be using this one from Cover FX. This one is not super easy to get your hands on anymore. Um, they used to sell it at Ulta and now I don't think they sell Cover FX at Ulta or at least not this powder. But I will have a link for you guys where you can get this powder. But honestly any loose powder that you have that you use on your face um, you can use for this. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit on my beauty sponge and just press it over and I mostly focus it on the areas that I tend to get oily so that's going to be on my cheeks across my nose and on my forehead on my t-zone and I really didn't apply a ton of powder just enough to set everything down on the skin okay so let's go ahead and move on to the reason why you guys are all here and that is for the application of the Danessa Myricks yummy skin blurring balm powder so this comes in a translucent shade that you can use as a primer it also comes in tinted shades so it comes in a total of 11 shades I have the shade number seven I did originally pick up the translucent shade but I ended up taking it back and getting this one because with this one you kind of get 
the primer and the like tint in one so a lot of times if I don't want to wear a foundation I can wear this and I'm getting both a primer and a, it sets to a powder so I'm getting primer powder and coverage all in one product um, so if you are my foundation twin the shade that I have is number seven and it matches me pretty well it retails for $36 and some of the highlights of this product are that it's light coverage, natural finish, good for dullness, uneven texture. Um, it has a cream formula, it's good for pores, and it says that it's a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while, man while maintaining hydration, which I completely agree with. And you guys will see as we go throughout the day, this product honestly looks better and better the longer that it's on your skin. So it does come with a little scoop that you can, you know, scoop the product out with. I don't really use the scoop because again, I am applying it similar to how I would apply a foundation, even though it's not a foundation. So I just dip straight into it with a brush and you guys can see I've already hit pan on this product. That just goes to show you how often I use it because it's just that good. So I'm using this uh, Real Techniques sculpting brush. Really any brush you have will work fine. Um, I do find that synthetic brushes work best in my opinion for applying product directly to the face. So I'm just gonna dip, dip, dip right into it and just apply it right onto the skin. And you can see already that those dark spots that I had on my face right here compared to this side that, I mean the coverage is amazing the thing that i really like about this in particular is that it has really great buildable coverage but if you don't need a lot of coverage you can also just sheer it out or even apply it with your fingers which is what the scoop is for um but for me since this is pretty much going to act as my concealer like coverage everything all in one um I do kind of like to apply or build it up a little bit more on those areas where I need more coverage. But you can even see I didn't put a ton of product on my face right here. And it get like, you see how well it covers? So good. Um, but you also can see if I keep blending over it, it shears it out and you can start to see that dark spot peeking through again. Um, this is a product that when I'm applying it to my skin, I'm not super concerned with having full coverage i'm more so concerned with just having something that is going to even out my complexion and just kind of give me that effortless natural kind of look to the skin so this is not like for the full coverage glam days although you could wear it on those days or you could apply it as a base and then put a foundation on top of it but this is literally the product that i use for like just my everyday I'm running out to run errands or you know I'm going to hang out but I don't need like something full glam I just kind of want to look put together I guess is the word that I'm looking for okay so as you can see this is what the skin is looking like and then what I like to do is just go in with my beauty sponge and just go over it to kind of soak up any excess product that may be on the skin and as you can see, you can still see my dark spots peeking through, but really it just kind of evened out the complexion overall. I'll try to put like a side by side so that you guys can see, you know, when I didn't have any product on my face compared to having this product on my face. And honestly, if I just wanted to even out the skin, I could stop here. So if you are someone that doesn't have a lot of hyperpigmentation or, you know, darkness under your eyes and things like that, that you need to cover, you could honestly probably just apply this and keep it moving and you would be good for the rest of the day but for me I do um, have some dark spots on my face that I do want to color or cover and then also some um, darkness under my eyes that I want to conceal so I'm gonna do that next so for that I'm actually gonna be using my Sephora best skin ever concealer I have been loving this I've shared this with you guys in several videos I've shared it in reels on my Instagram I have just been loving this concealer it's only $15 and it really gets the job done so I have mine in the shade number 34.5 in and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and like all the areas that I want to conceal but also highlight the face and then since I am going out, I do want to add a little bit of brightness in my inner corner. So for that, I'm going to be using my Fenty Concealer. And this one is in the shade number 300. So I'm going to apply that just to the inner corners and then blend everything out. 
And then before I set everything in place, I am going to cover this um, dark spot that I have on my face right here. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This one is in the shade Mocha, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that right over top of that dark spot and then lightly blend it out for a little bit of extra coverage. Okay, so this is how the face is looking after I've kind of set everything. You guys can kind of see it's not completely full coverage, but it's definitely giving enough coverage to be able to be out and about and feel put together. So obviously I'm looking pretty flat right now because I haven't bronzed, I don't have on any blush or you know, the makeup is incomplete. But I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how the skin is looking just with the blurring balm and then concealer underneath my eyes and down the center of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face off camera because I'm actually running a little bit behind, but I'll be sure to come back on and show you guys how the face came together and you know my outfit and everything before I run out the door. All right y'all, so this is the finished face. I decided to skip the lashes today because I'm running a little bit late and I also just didn't really feel like putting any on. So I'm giving you guys very much natural everyday beat. This is no foundation, no lashes, very much wearable, like this is just, it's giving very much easy, very doable face. I look very much put together. You guys can see up front or up close how the skin is looking. Still some of my natural skin peeking through, but for the most part, I'm, you know, and I keep looking over here because my monitor is over here, but yeah, I'm very much, you know, looking like put together, I would feel comfortable going to work in this face. I have gone to work in this face, um, running errands. And then like I said, tonight we're going to dinner and bowling. And you know, I just feel like it's not too much. It still looks, you know, natural, wearable, but it's not overdone. And it really didn't take me very long to do. Like on a regular day, if I wasn't filming, I could do this face in like 15 to 20 minutes and be out the door. So um, not much going on with the fit today. I just have on this cropped hoodie. Let me zoom y'all out so you can see. Zoom y'all out just a little. Okay, so I just have on this cropped hoodie from Nike. It's like a green color. I got this last year from an outlet, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it for you guys. If I can, I'll link it. And then I just have on my um, Savage Fenty tights. Very comfy vibes. And then I am gonna be wearing this fragrance today, which I showed you guys in my Sephora haul. This is the YSL Libre Intense. And if you're interested in the products that I use on my face, I will try to list them for you guys down below. I'll try to remember to do that. But if I don't, this face that I have on is the exact face that I did in my Get Ready With Me where I was showing you guys all of my Sephora recommendations like in an actual makeup tutorial. So if I don't remember to link the products down below, I will link that video for you guys because it's literally the same routine. Um, so if you're interested in what products I have on my face or how I apply the products, how I layered everything, I'll link that for y'all down below. And then I did set my face at the end with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish per usual. So I need to go ahead and get out of the door. Just wanted to pop back on here really quickly and give you guys a quick little check-in. It is currently, I don't have my watch on, I think it's like 5 p.m. So I'll have this on at least for six or seven hours because I'm sure we're going to be out for a little bit before I actually come home and wash my face, um, which is about how long I would typically have my makeup on if I got up and was going out to a work day. I will vlog for you guys a little bit on my phone. I'll probably give you guys a little bit of a montage of what we end up doing. And then I'll come back later to check in to show you guys how the face is holding up. So let's go ahead and get to where we gotta go cause I'm running late. Just let it do better And I'll start getting late 
Hey y'all, so I just got home from hanging out with my sister and her boyfriend and my husband. We had a little double date tonight. It is currently midnight, so I have had this face on for seven hours. And I just wanted to pop on here real quick. We literally just got home, so I wanted to pop on here real quick and give you guys a little update. I'm not even gonna hold you. We was getting a little lit tonight, so you know. Y'all saw the footage, I'm a little lit, but I did want to just give you guys a final check-in real quick before I wash my face and wrap my hair and get ready to go to bed. So this is what the skin is looking like after seven hours. Um, I was, as you guys saw, out and about, so I did not touch up my face at all while I was out. And this is how the skin is looking. So we are a little bit oily in the cheek area, which is to be expected. Um, a little oily in the T-zone area, which again is to be expected. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can get a little bit of a closer look. Okay, so we're zoomed in. I just wanna show you guys a little bit closer so you can see what the face is giving after seven hours. And honestly, I mean, this is what I typically expect, especially from a product that is not a full foundation. It is a blurring balm powder. And like I mentioned to you guys earlier in the video, this has been my go-to everyday makeup look. So, I mean, it holds up really well for me throughout the day. Again, like I said, I've had this on for seven hours. And if I needed to touch up, I could go in with a tissue, which you guys know I always do and I could just pat over my cheeks, my forehead, and my brows. And I mean, I'm obviously back home, so I don't have anywhere else to go. But if I wanted to touch up, if I needed this to last a little bit longer, I would go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof um, Pressed Powder, and I would just set the face again just to lock everything in. And as you guys can see, we are pretty much good to go for another couple of hours if I needed to stretch this for an additional couple of hours. So I definitely recommend the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. If you've been on the fence about picking it up, I definitely recommend getting it. Like I said earlier in the video, they do have a translucent shade if you wanna use it as a primer, but if you wanna use it to kind of even out the complexion like I did in this video, they do have, I believe, 10 different um, shades that you can choose from but the one that I'm using like I mentioned to you guys earlier is shade number seven so this is the final results like I said after seven hours let me know down below in the comments if you've tried out this product what your thoughts are about it or if this review has swayed your opinion I know there were a lot of you guys that voted to see this review so let me know down below in the comments if this has swayed your opinion about the product are you gonna pick it up are you not gonna pick it up have you already picked it up what are your thoughts let's chat about it down below in the comments I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you like the vibe of the channel be sure to click on subscribe down below and that is all that I have for you guys for today's video so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one thank you.